Um, Shelby and I are going to go to the Grand in uh, downtown Denver. I think it's downtown. Um, and shoot a quick back workout. So check it out. basically to go as heavy as possible. A lot of guys will come in here and they'll do high volume training. 15, 20 reps at a lighter weight, that's fine. You'll flush a lot of blood into the muscle, but if you want to grow the muscle, create fullness around it, you want to ideally recruit as much muscle fiber as you can. The only way to do that is through heavy weights um, with the right form. to train the most? Legs. I like training legs just because it uh, requires some squats and deadlifts which are compound movements and uh, basically incorporate the whole body and then after you train the legs if you go heavy enough with a squat and a deadlift you um, kind of tell the body to release a bunch of growth hormone makes you bigger and stronger. Machine row. me recently why I moved from CrossFit to um, this type of isolated training and the truth is I wouldn't have, I would absolutely do what I've done again. Um, CrossFit taught me more about my body, gave me a new perspective on life, gave me definitely a new pain threshold. There's no pain that equals what you go through in a, in a, in a normal everyday CrossFit workout but um, yeah and the hormonal response you get from that type of training is pretty much it's eerily similar to um, just average normal hormonal therapy but now I'm moving into this I mean I did this from 17 16 17 years old and I built a lot of muscle so going into CrossFit was quite easy for me to keep that muscle and I, with that muscle memory it's quite easy for me to rebuild what I had and that's what we're gonna do Feeling much better now. <laughs> I just love you. This is the most fun, guys. You're so cool. It's like I like my mom. Okay guys, so got some dumbbells here. 
Uh, 75 is the heaviest. Okay, so oftentimes what a lot of people do with training is they try to make it too complicated uh, with reductionist movements. So movements that further reduce basic compound or simple movements like a bent over row. Generally, the simpler the better. That is especially true with training. Squats, deadlifts, rows, bench press, those are all the movements that uh, create the most muscle. Okay guys, when you do pull-ups, um, let's see what I did, I kind of hold this hollow seat position. Pull-ups are, mostly it's a gymnastics move, well it is a gymnastics move. The goal is to hold a hollow seat, they teach you in gymnastics. Is that way you keep recruitment through the body, you kind of keep the body one fixed piece. You start doing pull-ups like this, what essentially you're doing is you're breaking the body's different pieces up and you get less recruitment uh, through the movement. I don't confuse that with the gymnastics, plus the kipping pull up, that's slightly different. YouTube is something I'm gonna try to get more regular with. Uh, just kind of forming you know, my day-to-day -day life and just trying to make, get good at editing and all that stuff just so I can kind of create cool, uh, interesting videos for you guys. But um, yeah, um, let me know what you thought um, and look out for the next one. <laughs>